Hello, thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And on this training, we're gonna talk about Process Builder and how you can use that tool to automatically make changes to a contact record based off of the call outcomes from your phone burner calls. And more specifically, on this specific training, I have a field within the contact object called last call date. That's a field that I wanna make sure is updated after every call. So I'm gonna do that through Process Builder. So I'm gonna jump back over to Process Builder and I'm gonna add a criteria. And I'm gonna give this criteria a name. I'm gonna go ahead and name this All Phone Burner Calls. And the reason why I'm gonna call this All Phone Burner Calls, because this is the step within my process where I'm gonna add any action, any specific update to any record that I call that needs to happen every time, no matter what. Anything else that is filtered based off of specific call outcomes will come after this. I'm gonna leave the criteria for executing action set to conditions are met, and now I'm gonna go set my conditions. And the field that I'm gonna be monitoring on this task object is the subject line. So I'm gonna go ahead and find subject, and then I'm gonna choose that. So I'm telling Salesforce to monitor the subject line of all of the task activities that are created within my organization. And for operator, I'm gonna choose starts with the string call with phone burner. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And now I've got my condition. What is my condition doing? It's looking for any task that has a subject line of call with phone burner. And since every activity created by phone burner starts with call with phone burner, this will run every time a call is logged by phone burner. So now I need to decide what is it that I want to have done when a call is completed by phone burner. And like I mentioned earlier, this is where I want to update the last call date on the contact record. So I'm going to add an action. And the action type is update records, because we're going to update the contact record. And I'm going to set the action name to set last call date, because that's the action that it's going to perform. And now I need to select the record that we're going to update. And it is a record that is related to the task. We're not updating the task itself. We're updating the contact record related to the task. So we're going to select that. We're going to choose name ID contact. Select that. And now we need to tell Salesforce what field it is that we want to update. So all I have to do is start typing in the name of the custom field and I'll find that one listed here. So I'm going to choose last call date. And for type, I'm going to choose field reference and the value is going to be last modified date. And the reason why I'm choosing the last modified date is because this process will run one time every time a new task activity is created and it will have been modified at that moment. And so I want to take that date and assign that date to this field. So we're going to go ahead and choose that and save. And that's it for this particular training. We have now configured our process to automatically set the last call date on a contact record anytime that record is called using phone burner. And that's it for this training. There are other trainings, so make sure you watch those as well. Bye for now and happy dialing.